Hey everybody, Teresa here of Larkin Design. And so today what I wanted to share with you is what I am doing for days four, five, and six in my December Daily Traveler's Notebook. So the other day I finished up the first notebook in my series and so you'll get to see that layout next Wednesday on my YouTube for a YouTube hop. And then that meant selecting the next notebook. And so I chose this one and the first layout, so of course there's the, the um, transparency cover and the inside cover and then it opens with this Merry Days layout. I'm sorry, there's a little bit of glare there. Um, so it opens with this Merry Days layout that has a pocket page that I did a card in a fused pocket. There's a fused pocket right there that holds the card in place. And then the snowflakes are sealed. And this snowflake with the little tiny puffy sticker is on the outside of the page protector um, with a glue dot. So then I have this side over here, or I guess this side here for a photo and this side here for journaling inside this space here. So this is day four and then what I have for day five is a, a um, mixed media page, a star transparency, okay, and it's white on the back and then gold on the front side, but I put it in backwards. And then this crepe paper, Merry Days paper, which is also the inside of the notebook on the B side. So here's what I'm going to do. I sat down and looked at what did I have for day four for this layout. And so, um, this is actually going to be a really special layout for me. I usually um, have one layout every December that's about my mom or my parents. Um, they're both deceased and so it's a way that I honor them. And my mom in particular was pretty fond of penguins. And so... Um, a couple of years before she died, um, the movies Happy Feet, there's there's a first one and a second one. They came out and there was also like a National Geographic penguin movie. And so she really grew to love penguins and she collected penguin ornaments, gave all the grandkids penguin ornaments. And so that's something that has been a part of our holiday tradition ever since then and that, that was 11 years ago and so I've decided that that I want to keep that tradition of buying penguin ornaments um, last year I couldn't really find any um, but what I did was I printed out for this day I printed out a photo of the ornaments that we got this year they were just penguin ornaments from Target and then I also finally bought the movies this year. And um, so I'm going to cut that out. And I cut it out at 5 by 8 which is the size of my notebook. But I'm probably going to trim it so that it's inside this. And so that some of this pattern paper will show around it. That's my plan. And then I can write about the penguins on this side of the layout and then for the next page which again is a mixed media and then a pattern paper i printed i used one of my um traveler's notebook templates and printed this photo and story of me and nick and so what happened was um nick participates in an academic league he, it's something that he did in middle school for three years, and he's doing that in high school again. And on, on this day, he had a match in North Winston, and he missed his bus to get there. And so I went up there to be at the match and got there, and he wasn't there, and he was texting me. <laughs> 
telling me, I, I think I missed my bus. I don't know what happened exactly. So he missed his bus and I wrote journaling about how I hoped that um, he, I know that he saw, you know, us respond to him making this mistake. You know, we responded with love and compassion and that he's learning to give himself that space to, to make a mistake. And so that was all about my story for that day. And then on day six, which was the center of the notebook here, and um, I, I'm going to cover this completely. I did a completely digital layout, and this is simply where I am with time <laughs> right now. So I did a completely digital layout. This is a photo of Nick and Addison walking to their door at school. Um, this is their high school that they go to. And I simply added a couple of word strips from Celine Studio Home for the Holidays. I added a number from the Celine Studio December Days number four. And then I added my text here on top of the sky. And it's just a simple digital layout. I may, um, when I adhere it into the book, I may add another dimensional something or another or I may just leave it like this and that's totally okay that is the beauty of doing hybrid scrapbooking is that if you want to leave it digital you can if you want to add something to it you can as well so stay tuned for um, the process video they will be up on my youtube and on my blog at larkindesigntm.com tomorrow, sometime tomorrow afternoon, I, I expect. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so I know that I shared with you my approach for day four, and I decided to set that aside for a few more days and use that day for a design team project. So I'm going to share with you the process here for days five and six. So for day five, I am just trimming down my template here. Now these Traveler's Notebook templates that I'm using, they are some of mine that I designed earlier this year and you will be able to download them for yourself if you visit my blog at LarkinDesignTM.com and I will have that link down below for you. And so I've just used one single photo and written out my text here. And I love that these templates are so easy to print out and then just add a simple embellishment or something to the page and call it done. So for my number for this day, I used one of the Ali Edwards large numbers from the 2017 main kit, I think. And um, I just wanted a white on white on that vellum that's in the center of the layout. And so I added a little gold branch from the Crepe Paper Merry Days and then a couple of these little tiny star puffy stickers. And that's literally all that that side of the layout needed. And then for the right hand side, I have this beautiful branch paper from the Crate Paper Merry Days collection. And I love, this is one of my favorite papers. I love black on white patterns. And I just want to do a little something in the center. I like this Santa. I've always used um, Saint Nick images to represent Nick or kind of do a wordplay with his name. And so I think that what I want to do is frame him. And I'm just exploring some different options and I decide on this little gold cloche puffy sticker. And I'm going to back it with a pattern paper. So um, you know, that's a long pause in the video. So sorry about that. I went to grab the, the this polka dotted, this pink on red polka dotted pattern paper. 
and I'm just trimming around the cloche or snow globe or whatever you call these things and um, I'm just gonna let that red back the little cloche and I love this one because it does look like a snowstorm in the background like it's a snow globe but I also love it because notice the play on contrast here I have a black on white background and the red and pink contrasts against the black on white and then the Santa contrasts against the red and I did pop the Santa up with some pop dots and that is literally all that 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 all that, that day needed my story was told in my journaling on my computer and all in all that layout was probably about 20 minutes so very simple here and very basic not very complicated but still beautiful and for day six here I did another full page I did a full page photo here in Photoshop it's 8 by 10 and I'm going to trim it out here I am using uh, to print I'm using a Canon Pixma and the paper that I'm using is a HP soft gloss photo paper and I I bought it because it was on sale and I, I really love it it's quickly become a favorite for me so I did trim this in a half <clears throat> I trimmed this in half and am adhering it into the notebook leaving room in the center here for the twine so that the notebook will still be able to open and close and do what it needs to do and yes I'm covering up the whole um, pattern paper I use the other side of the um, pattern paper that I wanted to show and then I'm just going to trim it down here to make to make it um, consistent with the rest of the notebook and so I mentioned that I may add a little physical embellishment to this hybrid layout this is created using the Celine Studio Home for the Holidays collection and the December days number four numbers for the number six and then I remembered that I still had these little wooden stars from Ali Edwards and they are the perfect addition here to echo the white six to echo the white oh what fun word strip and add just a little tiny bit of dimension here to this layout and so very simple very quick very easy to do thanks so much for watching today I'll see you back here again soon I hope you will like and comment and subscribe to my channel See you again soon. Bye-bye.